we uh, just want to um, get everything rolling. Um, this is our first podcast by ourselves. Uh, we have a couple of, well, we have a couple other podcasts that we do with other people, but this one is strictly for adoption and foster care and finding your birth parents and some of the things that come on, along in that. Uh, <clears throat> just throw a bit about me. Uh, I was born in 1960, uh, and uh, my mother uh, gave me up for uh, the foster care system right away. Uh, let me back up a little bit. First of all, I wanted to thank everybody for, for tuning in, first of all. And second of all, I just want to let everyone know that um, this podcast will be a, a visual and um, also audio when you know when we get a chance. Uh, we're going to try to bounce back and forth, but I want everybody to get a good look at me and my missing tooth. <laughs> this is what I look like, you know, and and put a face with the voice. But anyway, um, <clears throat> what I wanted to do is just jump on in and and uh, get everybody a, uh, a, a a thing about me. Um, like I said, I was born in 1960 uh, in the state of New Jersey. Uh, right after I was born, I was given to the system, foster care system, DIFUS, social services. We, those that are in the business or have been an adoptee or the foster care of the state of New Jersey, they kind of like familiar with them terms. I don't know how they are around the, uh, the country, but... Um, that, uh, that 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 was uh, my welcome to the world, so to speak, uh, right after I was born. Um, my first first foster um, care placement was with some individuals that um, really didn't care for me too much, and uh, I believe in my heart they was in there for the money, and um, they gave me up uh, by leaving me on the porch with some milk and. I almost died. Um, social services found me with some milk that was bad. Um, my throat was really bad and everything, so I couldn't swallow. So they had to they had to feed me through my ankles, which I bear their marks as today. You know, I bear their marks as we speak today. Um, fast forward in a little bit, uh, I wind up up in another foster parent, foster care uh, situation. Uh, for about eight to nine years of my life and uh, ten I can't remember some things I remember some things I don't um, these individuals was very um, you know yeah I uh, went through a whole lot you know went through a whole lot a lot of things physically mentally sexually verbally uh, all kinds of things with them um, which I kind of talked about in, in my first book living my shadows dreams do come true and um, <clears throat> anyway, um, then I wound up uh, moving on to another foster home, which uh, that family wound up uh, adopting me, which is the name I carry right now, the last name. And um, I stayed with them up until a certain point, till I got old enough to go on my own. Then I wound up joining the military. Um, military kind of like uh, helped me get a little bit more confident and, you know, a little bit more uh, courage and things like that. Um, did great things in the military. I thought I was only going in there for, you know, just a few months or whatever. Wound up staying there for 20 plus years, made it a career. Um, that right there built my uh, my personality. And um, <clears throat> from there, I went on, you know, and worked um, as a contractor. And now I'm about to retire. Um, I was able to have uh, five kids. One kid, uh, I just realize I had um, <clears throat> and that's another story but um, I have four boys one girl and I have eight grandchildren and um, in between all that uh, just recently in 2017 I found my birth mother and um, through finding my birth mother I found my siblings siblings that I didn't know I had I knew I had uh, two two boys I wound up having found in one boy or a young man, or you know, older man, and um, a young uh, a, a sister, um, who's just a couple years younger than me. This is all on my mother's side, and then also a, a brother that passed away, who everybody says I'm a twin. And then from there, I wound up finding my father, who I did not meet, but uh, as you find out in the book, there was an odd meeting between him and 
and my uh, adopted mother, uh, grandmother. And also, um, uh, I have a sister, two sisters on my uh, father's side and a host of cousins on both sides. Uh, found out that on my mother's side, they're from the Caribbean. Grandmother, grandfather was born in Anguilla. Uh, also found out that my grandmother on my mother's side, my father's side, is from England. So I got all kinds of stuff mixed up in me. Um, I found about over six, five, close to 500 family members uh, through Facebook and um, through uh, Ancestry and 23andMe. And a lot I've met, some I haven't. I have Caucasian family, I have uh, a Caribbean family, I have, uh, of course, uh, African American family, and uh, Bohemian. I, I mean, I found a little, little bit of everything. So um, I'm still learning um, different things about myself, which is a good thing, but, um, you know, there are some ups and downs and emotions that uh, come with finding your biological family, being adopted. And a lot of things you have to juggle, which I outlined in my second book, Shadows of Emotions, Life After the Dream. Both books that you get on Amazon. I also have a website too, uh, livingmyshadow.org, where you can find information about both of the books. But the main thing um, for this podcast, what I'm trying to do is articulate some of the things that we as adoptees, uh, people from or uh, from the foster care system go through and also some of the things that you go through finding your birth parents and your birth family it isn't all pieces and cream some good stories some bad stories so I'm here to uh, you know uh, talk about my experiences uh, and also try to have uh, guests on the show uh, so you can kind of hear things from a different perspective. Uh, we also uh, want to be able to, um, you know, talk about different topics that you want to talk about, and you know, um, just just um, you know, get to get to know what um, adoptees go through. Also, those that are thinking about um, adopting uh, kids, you know, um, things that they should be aware of. Uh, we talk, we're going to talk about the adoptive program, the foster care program, some of the negative things that, that we don't like, some of the positive things that we don't, don't like, you know, some things that uh, people overlook. Uh, but the bottom line is we, the adoptees, are the ones that are being affected. And um, I think it's uh, time for us to speak out and um, tell everybody our feelings. You know, so like I said, I shot this first one so everybody gets to look at me, see what I look like and all that, put the face with the um, voice. Um, what other things do, can I talk about real quick? Okay, we have a website. We also have a, uh, a, a web page. I'm not a web page, but a uh, Facebook uh, business page, which is Living My Shadows LLC. Uh, that ties into uh, my, um, my business. I am the uh, founder and the, um, <clears throat> the CEO of uh, Living My Shadows LLC. We also have a uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, at, uh, under the same name, and we also have a, a Facebook group that has the same name as this podcast. Basically, um, let's talk about foster. Let's talk about adoption and foster care. It's where you can go ahead and reach out um, through Messenger. You can put comments up. Uh, we try to throw some subjects and stuff. Uh, we try to be motivating with some of the things that we um, throw up there. Uh, we try to be real and authentic. But if you have any suggestions, anything you want to talk about, or if you want to be on the show, or you just want to talk about a particular subject, um, you know, we are more than uh, welcome to um, to have you. Or we also more than welcome to talk about your, your particular topic. And everything can be confidential. You can throw a topic out there and say, I don't want my name to be mentioned or whatever. Not that we're going to mention your name anyway. You know, but if you want to mention your name or where you're from, you can do that too. Uh, we just want to give, we just want to have another outlet for people to um, talk. I didn't have this outlet when um, I, well, I was going through the system and stuff. We also, um, <clears throat> I, we also want to let people know about other people that has podcasts or, uh, or, or IG or bl blogs. Uh, to 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 help uh, adoptees um, cope with some of the situations that they're going through. Uh, this adopted life, um, 
we are a part of that uh, group. Uh, we talk and, and we meet every um, every uh, Sunday at three o'clock. Um, you can find that group on um, IG. The young lady's name is Amanda. Matter of fact, um, that will be my first guest because that show, well, that not so much the show, the um, the uh, talking with amongst other adoptees has been ther therapeutic for me. I am here to tell you. Uh, we, 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 uh, we have a good time. We get some things out. Uh, we learn things, too. So uh, this adoptive life uh, with Amanda, uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to um, have her on as a first guest. We want to um, you know, let everyone know that um, we're going to try to do this as much as possible. It's not, maybe not, might not be every week. Maybe, maybe it might be every two weeks. We'll see how things go. We got a lot of things in the frying pan that's going on. So um, <clears throat> we just want to, um, you know, be available when we can. And like I said, if you have anything you want to talk about, let us know. Um, basically, that's it for the intro. Uh, we just wanted to get our get our name out there and, you know, let everybody know what uh, what, what we up 